Don't you mean hall pass? No, they changed it on account of how great I am at this job. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Nope. Yes, huh? Nuh-uh. Yes, huh times a million. Damn, she has more yes, huhs than me. You win this round. Ugh, Holly's been riding my ass since day one. I gotta find somebody who can help me make a fake hall pass. Then I can wander around freely without her constantly breathing down my neck. go there without a hall pass. What you looking at? I'm trying to pick out a new book to read. What kind of books do you like? I like all kinds of stuff, really. Basically anything that doesn't focus on a meek protagonist trying to help people out in an apocalyptic setting. Boring. Uh, yeah, I meekly agree. Need help finding something? Absolutely not. Well played, uh, skeptical book guy. After graduation, I'll miss having my head slammed into you, old buddy. Say, are you done yet? Other people are thirsty too, you know. I tried to break the world record for consuming the most water. I just started. Uh, careful. You know you can die from drinking too much water, right? Then I'd beat the record for the youngest person to die of water poisoning. Either way, I'm gonna make the record. I simultaneously question and admire your dedication. Also, your ability to speak while drinking. They don't call me ball for talking for nothing. I can't go there without a hall pass. What you up to? Are you playing hooky? I'm keeping these halls safe. Everything the fluorescent light touches is my jurisdiction. Speaking of which, what are you doing out of class? I'm, uh, on the lookout for students who don't have hall passes. Then the culprit is right under your nose, culprit! No holly pass, no skipping class. I just thought you could use an extra set of eyes. Don't need them. I've got eyes in the back of my head. On the front of them, too. And they're good eyes. How many eyes do you have? What are you, a potato? Don't make me pepper spray you, Coop. I have the authority! Uh, y you've made your point. Hey. Go away, I'm trying to pee. Oh, any minute now. Rushing rivers, waterfalls. Oh, Mr. Coffee. Oh. I should really get my prostate checked. It's a good thing somebody altered this sign. Otherwise, kids would surely obey it and never smoke in here. I can't even look myself in the eye. Uh, hey guys, better be careful. The hall monitor's on a tear out there. Psh, we ain't afraid of no stupid hall monitor. We make our own hall passes, cause we're so cool. Uh, okay. C can you make me one? Only if you do something for us. What is it? Don't tell me it's using my face for punching practice again. <laughs> Not this time, but we'll keep it in mind. Don't wanna get rusty. Get us the ingredients to make some school hooch. A.K. Scooch, A.K. The Devil's Backwash, A.K. Toilet Wine. We like to get drunk before a dare class. You mean that alcohol that prisoners make in the toilet? Gross. 
What are the ingredients? All right, here's a list of what we need. Fetch us what's on the list like a good little loser, and we'll get to your hall pass. Don't share the list around, though. It's my mom's secret recipe. Hurry up and get us the shit we need, man. Old fruit, yeast, a plastic bag, and some sugar. Are you here for more punching practice? <laughs> uh, no thanks. I've had plenty of practice being punched. I'm actually pretty good at it. Then make yourself a moving target and get out of here! Yeah, make like a toilet and go find our stuff. Dude, that doesn't even make sense. Quit being lame or you're gonna lose your leather privileges. Those are the cool boys. They don't give two shits about nothing. Touching them would be a one-way ticket to Drown Town via the toilet. Useful as that trash may be, I think I carry enough garbage around with me as it is. I usually like to piss at home. You know, where my face won't get shoved into it. the eye wash station I used after Brittany colored in my eyeballs with Sharpies. Gotta love those elements. Oxygen is my favorite. I'm a bit of an addict. Mmm, sugar. What every growing child and future diabetic needs. Ah, sugar. Everything a growing kid and future diabetic needs. Can't deny it, I really want his glasses. Mixing some chemicals, eh? What are you making? According to my calculations, this should make either some silly putty or a deadly noxious gas. Uh oh, I see. Hmm. Could you find out after I leave the room? Thanks. What you reading? I stumbled upon some weird report on a massive supply of toxic chemicals under the school. Seems to be like a secret lab or something. Sounds like a ridiculous conspiracy theory with no truth to it whatsoever. Well, you might be right. Just like you're right about 9-11. Here, this will prevent the government from reading your mind when you play with yourself. This tinfoil hat will keep my thoughts from being transmitted to the mothership. You know, Mr. Dead Frog, sometimes I envy you. This doesn't seem very consensual. It's a mostly eaten apple. I guess that means it'll mostly keep the doctor away. Look at you up there. Get off your high horse. A rotten apple? Maybe there's a Sleeping Beauty somewhere that'll be my prom date. Hey, Mr. Barry, how's history class going today? Today? That would make it present class, would it not? <laughs> Just a little history class humor for you, Coop. Mind if I take one of your pens? Sorry, but each of those pens has a long history to it. I'd be happy to go into great detail about the history of each pen. After that, we can talk about the history of pens and inks if you like. Who needs Netflix when you can talk about history 24-7? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, no thanks. I just wanted a pen. Well, my desk isn't an office supply store, so you'll have to find one elsewhere. Speaking of office supply stores, would you like to know the history behind office supplies like staplers, copy machines, and paper clips? I'd be happy to talk with you about each of them if you have several hours to spare. Sounds fascinating, but no. Then a rain check it is. Okay, see you later, Mr. Barry. Well, you certainly won't see me in the past. <laughs> history humor. Hey, Jennifer, what's up? Shh, not now. I'm trying to study. Um. Eh, 
The movies were better. Tell me I'm having a fever dream. That's what this is, right? Fuck no. Jesus Christ! What the hell? Mr. Murphy? <coughs> Will you got a problem with me? <coughs> Fine by me. You weren't my first choice for a prom date anyway. Why don't you do this at home? Don't you think that's taking your tenure too far? Good point. Do you need help? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm flexible enough to pull off the necessary amount of torque. What's that, boy? Is little Timmy stuck in a well? Show me, boy, show me! Oh, he's not stuck and he's hiding from you? Is that even possible before Labor Day? Suit yourself, no pun intended. I'm gonna try to repress this from my memory. Bye. Everyone knows better than to touch Mr. Murphy's ominous red button. That's, uh, Mr. Murphy's conspicuous red button. Look at all these goody two-shoes students who have made it to the Hall of Fame. I'll never make it on there unless they make a Hall of Infamy. A skull sticker? God damn, that's cool. I'm pretty sure Chet would pulverize me for being close to her. Actually, she'd probably pulverize me too. Damn, the door's locked. I've always wondered what creepy stuff the janitor keeps in there. I can't go there without a hall pass. I can't go there without a hall pass. It's a poster for the debate club. No thanks, I can't even win an argument with grandma. I can't go there without a hall pass. It's a plastic zip baggie. If you really need more detail than that, I can't help you. Grabbing a plastic bag from the trash. I feel like I just saw a glimpse into my future. I can't go there without a hall pass. Pretty sure this thing hasn't been inspected in the last 40 years. Uh, my hair is super dry already, thanks. Yeast, hooray! Now I can bake a cake. I've had to do my fair share of awful tasks, but getting yeast from the girls' bathroom is now right at the top of that list. Thanks for that. A snack machine? In the bathroom? Oh, sweet! A med kit! I'll keep this around in case I get any critical wounds! I would talk to the toilet paper, but our conversations are usually pretty terrible. Girls sit down to pee because they have vaginas. Just a little edutainment for you. Here you go. 
Whoa, you came through. I knew you'd do whatever we say, like a little bitch. I guess you aren't as pathetic as you look. Uh, thanks? Yeah, we have your stupid hall pass ready. And if you tell anyone you got it from us, we'll cut you so many times, you'll be begging for a stab. Uh, I won't. I promise. <laughs> My very own fake hall pass! Finally! Freedom at my fingertips! Let's see Holly try to stop me now! Fuck yeah! Freedom! Thanks for playing the Freakpocalypse demo! 